even prior to COVID, our businesses were most of our businesses and bars and live music venues were dramatically affected uh, by homelessness being being downtown. Uh, those property values are going down, and there are people out there, developers out there, and who knows who they exactly are, but there's a lot of developers buying a lot of property in downtown right now. There are. I, I know at least nine or ten different properties on 6th Street that have exchanged hands just within the past year. Really? And that's well, unprecedented to see that much activity as far as sale of businesses, real estate, I should say, uh, on 6th Street. In a one-year period, yeah. Usually, you'd be lucky if you see one or two in a year. Exactly. Exactly. Has, it, has it been like the same company or what's the stream realty i believe is the prop is the uh group that's bought most of the property downtown or on sixth street and then you got to wonder how much they've been contributing to our city council's campaign chest yeah that i'm not sure but i mean all of a sudden one company comes in and buys that much property in, in one year and i haven't seen that much transact in the past 10 years it, it it doesn't seem uh like you know for a progressive city council that this is the right way to reduce, uh, you know, income inequality. But hey, that's just me, right, Niles? Right.